Hello and welcome to Insights from Autistic. I am Armand Kodai, a 23-year-old high-functioning individual of autism. In today's video, I'm going to discuss ABA, Applied Behavioral Analysis, Speech Therapy, Acting, and probably some other treatment options that you've not heard of before. Uh, and so let's get moving here. So there are many treatments out there. And the truth is, is that for all the treatments, I would even go so far as to say that even with ABA, there really isn't enough statistics out there to show how effective they are. ABA is the longest, is the oldest of all the treatment options. It's been around almost as long as autism has been known. And, and while it does get results, my opinions on it are that it's a little bit forced. Let me explain what ABA is first for those who are not familiar. ABA is essentially conditioning, applied behavioral analysis. It's like Pavlov's dog where you have, where you try to train a dog to respond to a certain response. You know, you first start giving it treats, you start rewarding it or you start punishing it, one or the other, and then you take away the punishment or the reward and eventually the the animal behaves in a certain way and so ABA works under the same premise and essentially you know you try to force the child to have eye contact you reward the child when they make eye contact or when they do a certain behavior now while it has shown some effectiveness in terms of getting the child's behavior up my opinion is, is that it isn't the greatest method out there and also like I said it's a bit forced you know it's like you're force, forcing your child to become a certain way but yet you know they might feel a completely different way on the inside as I stated in other videos and you gotta try to get into their world a little bit and also pull them out so ABA is a way of pulling them out but you also have to try to get into the world ABA does not get into the world it forces them into their world and whenever you're trying to force someone into your world you know you're always gonna have a little bit more conflict and so I do believe that it's a viable treatment option and I believe that you know if you have ABA you should have at least one other treatment option and the good treatment option that kind of gets into the world is the sunrise program which is essentially where you allow the child to dictate what it is and you just get as involved with whatever the child is doing as much as they are and you try to show as much passionate interest as possible floor time is also very similar to that and so those are both treatments worth looking into uh, as well, uh, other things you know to look into is speech therapy. Um, as I've, I went through speech therapy, that really helped me in terms of my eye contact and figuring out what to say. While not a treatment option, psychology class and and communication class helped me. A treatment option that you may not have heard of is the brain gym. Essentially, what it does, the, there's a series of like 30 something exercises, I believe. And, and it gets both the right and left brains thinking simultaneously so it's exercises to get both sides of the brain working together because an individual with autism usually the brain you know one side and the other side you know they're going two separate ways and this causes a lot of discombobulation so this helps alleviate that and the, the um, impact of this from what I've seen is can be pretty significant you know improved handwriting improved socialness, improved creativity. Another thing that a treatment is, now correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong please message me, um, well don't message me, but please put a comment on the bottom of the box so that other viewers know exactly what it is I'm talking about. But there's something I believe called stoiscopic lenses or something to that extent. Essentially there's these lenses in these glasses and, and, and an individual can have perfect sight, you know they have 20-20 sight but but something in the brain that they perceive it, you know, causes them, I don't know, anxiety sometimes. You know, it can cause various things. Uh, it can be related to driving, to handwriting. Um, I might need to get such glasses myself or lenses because, for me, and I know of, of, of two other individuals with autism that are around my age that drive. You know, it's very exhausting. After 20 minutes, we get very exhausted uh, as well. I failed three times my driving test, this other person failed four times, I'm not sure about the other. So driving, you know, judging distances and also I've had bad eye coordination, this could be related to something that goes on in the brain in 
regards to the eyes, but it's not eyesight itself. And so I believe it's called stoiscopic lunges. That's another. So if there's like bad eye, hand coordination, that sort of thing, definitely look into that. Another thing is play acting. I think play acting is a good balance of both having the person come out to your role, but also entering their role a little bit because it has a nice balance. You know, it's kind of artificial because it's forced socializing. It's a it's a structured form of socializing, so it's a good balance between your reality and their reality because they like structure and regular socializing. You know, it's kind of sporadic and unpredictable at times. This they have lines, you know what's going to come next, you know what the person is going to say. So, you know, starting up a play group or looking into actors for autism, excellent treatments. Another thing, medication. I'm going to touch on medication. I myself don't take medication. I, I am not the biggest proponent of medication, but I do know that for several people, medication does help them out significantly. And I'm not familiar with all the forms of medication, uh, especially since I don't take it and I haven't looked too much into it just yet. If I do find out more, I'll let you know. But I do know that it has been proven very effective for a lot of angels with autism, as usually for reducing anxiety, and by and also it's helped them out with their social skills because the, the anxiety is gone and, and they you know feel more free so definitely something to look into on a side note there's also other treatments that that should be looked into such as meditation and reiki and other things like that in my video alternative treatments and cures i discussed those so please check out that video uh, as well if you if you have any other questions or about the, the treatments that I discussed here or about a treatment that wasn't discussed or just leave it down in the comment box so the other people who are viewing this can see your question and so I can answer it properly and as a little side note I just want to remind everyone that I run a free autism support group in Claremont California the meetings are every Monday from 6 30 to 8 30 p.m. so if you have any interest send me a message and I'll give you all the details thank you very much and have a most extraordinary day thank you bye